Hi guys, right now I'm coming to you from the floor of my kitchen because I'm about to show you my Tupperware drawer. Uh, I know that Tupperware drawers can get so overwhelming, especially a lot of times I get leftovers from Thanksgiving and Christmas from my aunts and from my mom and I wind up looking in my Tupperware drawer and thinking, oh my gosh, what happened? So just a few steps to keep the clutter down. Uh, I'm gonna show you the inside of my drawer. So the first thing that I like to do is um, I like to group things together. So here's all my lids and I just have this really cheap bin from the dollar store and I put it over here and I keep all my lids in there so that way I'm trying to find a lid for my, my containers. It, it goes really fast because I can just page through them real quick. Um, this section here, I know you're thinking, well, she's got lids over there. Well, this section is like my lunch section for the kids. Um, I have my little lunch containers stacked up for them here. Um, and then this was just a takeout tray that I cleaned out and, um, I had it in here and I thought, well, instead of throwing it away, I'll go ahead and contain my lunch lids with this. So this section right here is just for my lunch stuff. Um, and then let's see if I can move you in closer. There we go. Um, so then another fantastic thing that I did was I switched away from um, plastic. I don't use much plastic. When we got married, you know, I, I don't know if everybody gets these sets like this of Tupperware with the blue lids. Um, oh, that doesn't go on there, but yes, the Rubbermaid Tupperware lids. And, um, you know, just with all the studies about PBAs and things that leach into your food, I decided to switch to glass. So um, now I have these. These are by Ziploc. Um, and actually not all of my containers are in here right now because they are containing things in my refrigerator. But what I do is I just stack like things. And, and the thing is, is that I don't have... Um, I don't have like one size fits all Tupperware, right? Uh, I have these and I have this and then I have these are from lunches here um, and then I have the other lunch stuff here and then I have my mason jars. So the idea for me here is that uh, when I had the lids all just in with everything, stuff got so cluttered because these lids would fall places and knock stuff over and then they get stuck in there and then when I'm trying to put things away out of the dishwasher, stuff just gets a mess. Um, so that was part of the reason for keeping the lids separate. Um, but just by keeping those lids in a separate container and containing those loose items, it keeps this so much cleaner and so much easier to see. Um, I don't have to have special Tupperware or plastic containers that um, all fit together or anything like that. And I don't have to have separate bins and everything. This is super easy for me to see. And I know it's a big space, but you could even do this in a cabinet uh, with your lids contained. And you'll find this is a common theme in my kitchen. I like to contain smaller items that get loose and start to clutter things. Lids, lids, lids. Lids and straws, they make me crazy. So I contain them. Um, yeah, so, you know, stack your like items if they can stack. Um, I have another one like this that puts, it sits right in here. I have another one this size that will sit right in here. Um, and then just all my lunch stuff together and all my lids together. It's as simple as that. You need to combine like items uh, just for visibility so that you can get in and out of your Tupperware drawer or cabinet faster.